little amigos. Sorry, I almost fell off my chair there. How is everyone doing today? I am doing super, super dandy because I get to do another crap time with Jenna video today. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't sing. Anyways, we're gonna be doing another crap time with Jenna today. So we're gonna be just chilling out, doing some Pinterest inspired thrift flips today, which I'm so excited about because I've been on Pinterest so much lately and just been seeing a lot of cute things on there that I want to recreate from things at the thrift store. So I went to the thrift store yesterday and I went a little crazy. We're going to be doing a lot of thrift flips today. Home decor, some accessories, and of course some clothing. But before we get into the video, I do have to mention that today's video is sponsored by... Cricut! I'm so excited! Cricut sent me over their Cricut Joy and we're going to be doing a few thrift flips with it today. But I'll show you more about the Cricut Joy later, but for now, we can just get started. Let's get into the first thrift flip because, um, we got a lot to do. For our first thrift flip, I just purchased this simple, basic terracotta pot. I love plants. My whole room just looks like a jungle, which you can't really see because they're all behind the camera, but I love plants. So you guys know I had to at least get one pot so I could buy it another plant. We're going to be thrift flipping this big slick pod and we're going to be recreating it to look like this. All you need for this thrift flip is some acrylic paint and a top coat. So I want this to be white and blue just like the photo so I'm going to paint it completely white and I'm going to use one of these foam brushes to do that. I'm just going to paint a nice coat over this whole pot. I actually have two of them. So I'm gonna do a different design for this pot. So I was looking on Pinterest and I found this really cute plate right here. And I just love the simple design of this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint this one green and then we're gonna put some dirt green swirls on it. So if you're anything like me and you hate waiting for paint to dry, just use your blow dryer. That way it'll dry super fast. So this is what it looks like with one coat, which is fine if you like this look, but I want it to be very opaque. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one more coat for both of these before I move on to actually painting the designs. So now that they're finally dry, after I use the blow dryer for like 10 minutes, I am gonna start with this white one here and I am gonna paint it blue like this one right here. So the first thing I need to do is um, I need to sketch out the design. So for sketching it out, what I am doing is I'm putting a marker here, 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 and here. So they're all evenly spaced apart. So one at each end. Yeah, you just want them at four even spots around. So once I had those marked off, I am just gonna draw a line all the way down the side like that. So then I should have four lines. Once I have these four lines, I am just going to draw a line through the middle all the way around. There. So it should look like that. Now that I have it like that, I don't really like how big these kind of squares are. It kind of looks like rectangles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a line in between all of the lines. So there's a total of eight lines now vertically on your pot. Bam, bam, turkey and ham. We got... How many squares now? Like 16 squares? Yeah, we should have like 16 squares on here. So now that we have that, we're gonna go and draw a little flower in all the squares. So this is what my pot looks like now. It's very rough, but it's okay. I'm gonna touch it up after. So now I can finally start painting it. So now for some intricate work. So I went ahead and I mixed my own blue color because I really like the blue color on the original pot that I showed you guys. And then I started doing every other square with this blue color and leaving the flower white. And I tried to stick in the lines as best as possible, but you can see it's very roughly done. But I touch it up with some white after, so it's okay. But I just went ahead and did every other square blue. And you can see it kind of makes like this checkerboard kind of print. I'm also painting all the flowers with this pen just because it would be so difficult to paint in the blue flowers with an actual paintbrush. So I recommend getting these paint pens. I got mine off Amazon, but you can really get them at any craft store. 
And then after I was done doing all the checkered board with the blue, I went ahead and used the paint pens like I mentioned and just filled in all the blue flowers. You can do this with a paintbrush and your paint. You don't have to have these markers, but I just really like being intricate, so I purchased these. So while the daisy one dries, I'm gonna go ahead and work on this one, which is gonna be a lot easier, a lot simpler, just because I am just drawing some squiggly lines with this paint pen. So as you can see in the photo here, all it is is just some swirly lines. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna freehand this. I'm not gonna be super picky about it just because it's just squiggly lines. So for the swirls, you can really just have fun with it and just be super abstract. Like there's no right or wrong way to draw swirls. So you just map it out, do a quick kind of sketch of it. And then you can also go over it, make it thicker if you want. So now that these are all done and painted, I need to put a top coat on. So what I am using for the top coat is this crystal clear coating. So let's go spray them. Okay, next thrift flip. So for our next thrift flip, we're gonna be recreating this top right here. I love this top, this top is so cute. So I'm so excited to have this one in my wardrobe for summer. So what we're gonna be doing for this one is we're not gonna be drawing it, we're not gonna be painting it, we're not gonna do anything with paint or drawing or, you know, doing intricate work with our hands. We're not gonna be doing that. We are gonna be recreating it with my Cricut right here and it's super easy to do so. So all you need is obviously a Cricut. You don't need this Cricut Joy, you can use any Cricut they have. I have the Cricut Air and it's a bigger one. This one is their mini version, which I actually love because it's so portable. It's great for people who actually don't have a space dedicated for their Cricut and they wanna move it like onto their kitchen table and they don't want it to take up a lot of space. This one is perfect. This one is perfect for me. But let me show you guys how we're gonna make it. So I'm gonna be making two. I have this purple, whoops, purple lilac tank right here and this basic white t-shirt. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my computer and I'm gonna go to the Cricut Design Space. I'm lazy so I'm just gonna go through their images because they have a ton of images on here and you can just take one and if you like an image then you can go ahead and cut it out. It's, it's really that easy. You don't have to design anything. You can just take one of their images. So I'm just looking through their flowers and gonna get a pretty, pretty flower. <gasps> this one's perfect. This one is perfect. Okay. I think I want it to be about this big, about this big. So 11 centimeters or like four inches. I think that's about the same. Make it. So now I'm just putting some iron on vinyl on my sheet and then I'm feeding it into my Cricut so it can cut out the perfect flower for myself. But I forgot to mention that you can also make a ton of other things with a Cricut. You can also make cards, you can make vinyl stickers, you can cut out vinyls for labels, you can cut out vinyls for mugs. It's really endless the possibilities with a Cricut. So now that I have these flowers, I need to pick off the act access excess stuff okay now it kind of looks like a four leaf clover but with five leaves do clovers have five or four i don't know anyways bam chicken and ham we got them both now <gasps> or should i do blue on this one wasn't i wasn't that was that the plan no i think i was gonna do green okay green looks really cute on here yeah green looks really cute yeah i'll go with green on this one and then once I had it all cut out, I just went and lined it up on my top. I flipped it over and then I just started ironing it on. I just had to do it for about 30 seconds in each spot until it was all ironed on. And then I was good to go. I was able to peel it off and it was done. So this is what it's gonna look like. So I'm happy with that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and iron the circle on. Look how cute that is. So. The shirts are all iron, but before I show you, I do wanna crop them, even though I know some of you hate it when I crop things, but I haven't cropped something in a really long time, so I think I can crop at least, I'm gonna crop just this white shirt. Now I'm not gonna crop the other one, but oh, she looks so cute, I can't wait to show you guys. I just realized that this shirt matches my necklace. Everything I made today pretty much matches my necklace because the pot I just made, it also matched my necklace. I didn't even notice that, but anyways, here's the top. I don't even notice it, it's so cute. It was so easy to make too. It took me probably less than 10 minutes to make, which is 
pretty crazy. Uh, I love this. This is probably my new favorite shirt now, and I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the video because I like it that much. But let me show you the purple one. I'm sorry, I'm wearing my granny bra today, so um, it's not the most flattering right underneath this top, but we'll just ignore that. Just look how cute this top is. I'm very happy with the green. The green looks really good with this purple, and it's like a nice accent to have the blue in the middle, but again, it's so cute. For this thrift flip, we are going to be making the ultimate fun pants out of these thrifted pair of jeans I have. I'm thinking for these jeans, we are going to be making something similar to this pair of pants. I just love this pair of pants and um, we're just going to make something, you know, somewhat similar, get some inspiration from it. So let's begin. Let's begin. I am going to be using my Cricut again for this one just because it was so fun and I was just on the Cricut design space and there's so many good flowers on there. So, um, yeah, I'm having a hard time choosing which flowers, but I'm thinking we're just gonna cut out a ton of flowers and just, just go at it. But if you don't have a Cricut, then that is okay, because you can just use either fabric paint or acrylic paint, and you can actually just paint your flowers directly onto your jeans. After long deliberation in the courtroom, the jury has decided we're gonna cut out this flower. This is the flower I'm just gonna cut out a ton of times and iron it onto my pair of pants. I think it's cute. It's very similar to the Holiday to the Label, I almost forgot the name, Holiday to the Label pants. I'm also gonna be using just white iron-on vinyl. Is that what it's called? Just white iron-on. We're just gonna make it nice and simple because I think it's already gonna be kinda out there, the pair of pants. So I ended up cutting the same flower over and over and over and over again until I ran out of iron-on vinyl. So I probably would have cut more, but then I ran out, so I am just loading up as much as I can for vinyl because I want these to be crazy fun pants. I'm finally done. I have them all cut out here, and there's a lot. There's a lot. So these pants are going to be so fun. So I think I'm going to just start by ironing them on in random places because... I could plan it out and really map them out and get it to like the perfect spot, but I kind of just want to go for it and just see what happens. Okay, enjoy the sick time lapse of me ironing them all on. It's gonna be so satisfying. To be honest, I thought this was going to be more satisfying than it actually is, so we're just going to fast forward to how the jeans turned out. Okay guys, um, it is 10.05, it's late, or at least for me, that's late for me, but we're finally done. We're finally done, we're done all the three flips, so it's finally time to show you how they all turned out. So first, we're starting off with the pots. Aren't they? Adorable, look at these. I ended up putting two coats of the spray acrylic on it and I just love the glossy finish. So I definitely recommend putting a top coat on if you are gonna be painting any terracotta pots. This is the other one, it is so cute. So I'm gonna insert a photo here of what they look like with the plants I buy because now I can go to the plant store and buy two more plants. Well, you've already seen this shirt and this shirt, but I you know I'll show you again. These are the two shirts that I made next and I love them. And lastly, the grand reveal of the fun pants I made. Here they are. Look at them. Aren't they adorable? Here, I'll show you up close. Here they are. Here are the fun pants I ended up making and I love them. I love the flower I chose. I think they turned out really cute. Well, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed creating some thrift flips with me today. I ended up creating five things, so I'm pretty impressed with myself. I hope you guys try one out or try more than one out. And if you guys do, please tag me on Instagram at Jenna Phipps so I can see what you guys are creating. But other than that, I wanna say thank you so much to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. And um, yeah. I'm tired. <laughs>
It's late at night, at least it's late at night for me. So I'm gonna go to bed, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.